Hey guys, today we're going to do a video about something that's been in my closet for a long time, but it's one of my favorite pieces. An ivory suit. Liverano made this one for me back in 2013. At the time, I just loved the idea of it, but I thought it'd be a huge indulgence. But it actually ended up being um, quite heavily used. I really like wearing this, especially in the summer months. Um, I want to show you what it looks like broken up. Because, you know, one of the reasons why I get a lot of use out of it is the ivory linen jacket on its own is really fun to wear. And you can wear it with a lot of things. I mean, wear it with a summery patterned shirt like this and a pair of jeans. Like that. Or you could wear it with a pair of gray trousers. Or even tone on tone, like a pair of olive chinos would be great with this as well. And then let's do a little styling. Let's put this ivory suit together with some other things in the shop. Just put that away. So let's start with summer wedding. Yeah, summer event, some sort of something special. White shirt, obviously. And you can do so much with the neckties now because it's so neutral, everything will go. I really like that. Bright, strong orange with the ivory on the white. Everything is still separate. It's got enough contrast. And then shoe-wise, you could do a tan like that. I think that's not bad. Or I think you could even do that. Brown suede loafers. And for a watch, I think a little bit of gold. A little bit of gold and tan works nicely in this way. You know, I was saying that you could do a lot with neckties, right? So you could also do this. To me, this feels very English. Quite muted colors in the tie, but very different on the color scale. Um, you have a very cool navy blue here versus the warmer tones of the ivory. And you could also do this, which reminds me a little bit of Southern Gentleman in the US. Um, navy uh, polka dot, widely spaced. Let's move on. We could also do this, something that has a little bit more, a little bit more density and saturation in the colors. So red striped shirt, I think it would look great with that. So contrasting colors, like a sort of day at the races feeling to the whole thing. Um, for the accessories, I think dark brown suede instead, like that. You know, I know you could do tan, but for me, the tan is almost a little too much. But you know, it depends on the person. Like some, some people could really pull it off. For me, I think I would go with suede in this context. And let's try... Let's also try a denim shirt, because I think denim looks really great with linen too. So I love that. I think that would work beautifully as just an open collar shirt, or if you were to wear a tie, a knit tie, I keep coming back to these yellow colors too, because I think it picks up the warmth of the ivory so well. I think that's lovely together. And in that case, I would do something like that. You know, because, there's so much saturation in these colors. You kind of want to take that dark color saturation and bring it down to the shoes as well. Another idea, if you want to just have fun and like if you just want to wear it very casually is a polo. Just a navy polo like that. You know, it's very strong contrast, um, but it's kind of cool. I like that a lot. And I think in that case, like, you probably wear that because you're really looking to match these two colors. And there you have it. Just uh, a couple of styling tips for an ivory jacket and a little dive into something that's been in my wardrobe for a long time. Thanks for watching.